When at the model show at Headcorn, I paid a visit to the Bring and Buy stall. There was a gentleman on, with a trolley, and on the trolley he had an SB1 submarine and this yellow hydroplane. Um, I made him an offer he couldn't refuse and bought both items. The SB1 submarine I've refurbished and is up and running, but the hydroplane stayed on the shelf up until recently. So now I've brought it indoors and I've decided to uh, strip it out, pull off all the old stickers and have a look to see what we can do with it. And so, after a jolly good clean up, had a look at the rear which had an imitation um, jet exhaust, thought if I cut that off and add a real jet to it, a ducted fan unit in fact. And this is where the first problem started. The ducted fan unit that was uh, big enough to have any effect on the weight of this vehicle would not fit into the hole where I'd cut off the false um, exhaust. So some fretling and uh, pushing and pulling and some heating up of the plastic and one thing or another, I finally got the unit to fit in. And then the next problem that arose, the air intake on this boat was false. It was only a sticker made to look like a piece of gauze. So the next job was to cut out the opening, put in some uh, fine mesh so that the uh, jet engine had plenty of air to draw on. Now, inside the hull there's installed two brushed motors which because they're already in place I'm going to leave. The hull has various holes and marks all over it which I need to disguise so I'll pop into one of my drawers and have a look to see what odds and ends such as stickers and decals I've got to cover them and because we have two types of motor we need different controllers uh, one for the uh, brushed motors and a separate one for the brushless motor on the ducted fan. I finally decided for the uh, ducted fan unit to install the um, electronic speed controller and its battery into the housing near the fan with just the one lead going down to connect to the receiver. And this is where I met problem three. Because we have uh, two motors in the boat, two props, and no rudder, I now need a little device so that uh, I can shut one motor down and start the other for steering on the one channel. I bought a small device from Mr. RC on the uh, eBay channel fitted this small device and this seems to be the answer but in fitting this device I now have to fit another speed controller to the brushed motors because when you've got this switching I need a speed controller on each motor so now each brushed motor has its own speed controller and the brushless one for the ducted fan has a separate controller. <laughs> so now we're running on three separate speed controllers. And as I'm come to the uh, finishing stages now, there's something else which has come to mind, which doesn't really affect things like tugs and battleships. But in this case, this is supposed to be a hydroplane and the council has a speed restriction on model boats of 10 miles an hour. So, here we are building this hydroplane and it can't do more than 10 miles an hour. But I think as long as the um, ducted fan and everything else, else works as it should do, then I'll be happy.